Hey guys, so the meal prepping is starting. The first place that we go is cleaning up all the vegetables. So washing and cleaning. Now it's happening on a Sunday today. Uh, Blake and Bianca usually help me with the fruits and the vegetables and cleaning them up and putting them into their different sections. I do help with the process, but it's a Sunday. Mr. Malondo knows that I'm going to cook like the entire evening all through to the late evening so he does help with the lunch so he's helped with the lunch we're gonna have lunch and after we've had lunch i start my shebang now i take more time preparing than i do the actual cooking that's the truth so right now i'm boiling everything the beans the peas the meat the chicken the what everything is being boiled after I'm done, because now they've already been washed, everything has been washed and cleaned up. After I'm done, um, or during that process, we'll be having lunch and, you know, watching a movie and whatever. And then when we're done with that, I'll start cutting up my onions, my tomatoes, my green paper, my everything. Uh, the meats that have boiled, I'll get them off. I start to chop them. I don't chop before hard life. I chop after, right? So I'll chop and then I will cook. Now, in this particular meal prep, I don't try to get some fancy recipe off the internet. No, here I do basic cooking. Now, in about a week or so, certain sauces will start to get finished, right? So maybe the beef will get finished. Now, when it gets finished, that's when I can get a recipe. Because it's the only thing I'm going to have to cook. It's not like today where I have to cook everything. Chicken, beef, beans, peas, F no right so that's when i can now get a recipe offline or online or whatever and then try to cook it take my time enjoy the process i can't try to do that right now so off to do the meal prep <laughs> So I'm all changed up now for, because I've had lunch, glass of wine, music, clean sink, clean food, full fridge. Now I'm good to go. I shouldn't be wearing white though. Should I change? And it has long sleeves. I should change. But I'm not going to change. Something's wrong with me. <laughs> so anyway, as the foods are still uh, boiling, I'm going to start cutting up my tomatoes and onions and all that shebang. So get ready for some boring stuff. Um, maybe just what I'll say is the onions. I'm not going to cut them immediately. I'm going to just remove the cover and then put them in the freezer so that that helps um, with that thing that makes you cry. Um, as long as I put them inside the freezer or inside the fridge, that, yeah, stops. When you bring them back, you're not going to feel like crying because I'm going to do a lot. And then for the tomatoes, I'm going to boil up water and then um, put them inside a place, inside the boiling water so that their peelings can go off. And then I'm going to blend them. So it's, yeah, we're in for a treat, right? <laughs> but enjoy. So the first step is getting everything out onto display. I get all my trays, all my cutting boards, everything is out for display. I then get my onions because now the time has come for me to cut them. But because sometimes they can cause you to cry, uh, the first step is to just remove the covers and get ready to put them inside the fridge. Sometimes it might still hurt, so you might want to put a piece of onion at the top of your knife. I now wanted to start water for my tomatoes, so I got some water running um, in the kettle. 
Now, one of my biggest struggles during this period was getting my quantities right. And you can bet that you'll go through this, knowing how much we need as a family and cooking the right amounts was one of the hardest things. How many onions do you need? How many tomatoes? It can be quite challenging and get ready for things like, um, you know, food getting spoiled because you measured wrong, but just continue to tell yourself you'll get it right, play around with the measurements until, until a time comes and you're doing it just right. I don't know, does somebody have a plug for how I can <laughs> put this rubbish in the right place that's not in a caveira like this? <laughs> So now that the onions have finished being frozen, it's time for me to get the tomatoes and select some. I usually put them inside a bucket and then put the hot water inside and put the tomatoes inside and leave them to just do their thing. Remember, all of this is so I can lay everything down. I want to be ready with my tomatoes and onions when the time comes. So I'm cutting the green paper now, uh, putting it together because I'll need all of this stuff for the cooking. So I'm just cutting it up and laying it out. Remember, it's already washed and clean. So, yep. Now the kids are learning to play with Monopoly. We're using this as an opportunity to teach them how to count, but also importantly about investment because they've been a part of our own journey as we invest in various properties. And so for them to just see it as a game, I think is quite fun. So they're learning how to count, but also learning how to invest. I believe that this has been quite a cool game because now they understand what's happening. <laughs> In my journey, working with the kids has always been important for me. So if they would like to be a part of the process, I allow them to, even when it comes to handling things like knives. <laughs> um, now it's time for the carrots and I cut them into different shapes, either round or into little cubes, depending on which sauce they'll be in. Um, I'll also do the very same thing with the onions now that they're you know getting out of the freezer and they're no longer they can't make me cry anymore i'll also cut them into different sizes and different shapes by now the liver was boiled and ready for me to cut in pieces I don't like cutting while, um, you know, any of my animal 
protein as long as um, you know it's fresh I like to first boil them up um, I also think I should mention that there's two sources that I've not spoken about just for purposes of being cautious um, with my audience and that's pork and fish so just so you know they were there it's just that I couldn't talk about them or show you um, one important aspect is to enjoy this process so here is Bianca giving us a cute little dance um, to music. So make sure you have some music. Enjoy this process. I'm waiting a bit for this stuff. So as it gets ready, I'm actually going to join the family to watch a movie. To watch a movie because the peas are boiled and completed, the liver is boiled and I've cut it. So I'm just waiting right now for the chicken, for the beans, and for the goat. So I'll cut the goat and then I'll get ready. I'll marinate the chicken a bit, like a tiny bit, and then continue cooking. But in the meantime, as I wait, watch a movie. When the tomatoes have heated up, their skin will begin to peel off the fruit itself. And so now is the time that I select those that look really ripe for this process and separate them. I leave those that haven't yet to stay inside the warm hot water. Okay, seriously guys, I really need a plug. <laughs> For where I can put rubbish on the counter. Anybody, comment section, please. By this time, the members of my household are getting hungry and they need a snack. I mean, it's snack time, it's probably two hours later, so they have their snack. Yes, remember to keep the kitchen clean. It's time for garlic now. And I mean, those things are so little and yet you have to cut them up. My gosh. <laughs> At this point the goat was ready and so again because I don't cut my goats or my stuff um, while they are raw and uh, now is a really good time to cut it up. I also had a little visitor Bianca after she'd showered um, she wanted to pray with me and I absolutely love it when the kids pray for me. Brian and I had a church meeting this evening and so he actually came into the kitchen for us to get ready for the meeting. Orlando has come to visit me. To eat. 
my carrots. What the hell? Anyway, we're going to have a meeting. That's why we are here together. Why like cook? So I don't know if you guys can see, but like right there in the corner where there was um, the round carrots, right there close to the animal protein, I no longer have carrots. Why? Because during the meeting, Brian ate all the carrots. So that means I'd have to make uh, a few more. But anyway, by now all the tomatoes were ready and uh, for the blending process. So even those that hadn't peeled off their flesh now had peeled off and so I was good to go for blending. I just want to share another quick tip for if you really want to start meal prepping is that you really need to have a really good fridge because I also struggled especially when Umeme would take the power out and um, I didn't have enough ice to keep my stuff cold. Please 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 as you start this process ensure you have a really good fridge that can keep your stuff really cold. And of course, we need to keep the kitchen clean. Sparkling clean. <laughs> At this point, the tomatoes, onions, carrots, green paper, garlic are all cut up. My cooking spoons are closed. My spices are also closed. The animal protein is boiled and cut. The vegetable protein is also boiled. And now it's time to start cooking. But before I do, I need to give a quick disclaimer in case um, somebody that's not very positive comes into a really positive space to say some really nasty things. Just, I just want to get this out there really quickly. Um, one, this is not a cooking show it's a basic and i mean extremely basic food prep so please don't get angry please don't get <laughs> shaken this is really basic this is not a cooking show. also my family has eaten like this for years and their stomachs are still okay they look healthy and they look fine and thirdly if you really really do have a comment please be respectful i'm not here as an expert i'm just sharing my process and if that still doesn't pass since i'm just sharing my process you can share your process in a video that we will all be able to watch now now that that is out of the way <laughs> i don't know if anyone noticed i brought my new pans out to play yay <laughs> So as you've seen, um, I already have my cooking oil that I'm going to deep fry my chicken in, my boiled chicken in, and I'm just now getting ready with all the other pans that I need. The second pot is where I'm going to cook um, my liver. A quick tip that I would like to give you is that it helps if you can have a, a burner stove that has many um, a cooker. <laughs> That has many burner stoves mine has five burner stoves but i've cooked before on a two burner stove so it's okay just if you can have many it helps so that you can cook all at once also have a spoon rest it helps um, so that you can have all of your ladles resting it's time for me i've already turned the chicken now and uh, taken it off because i needed to start the bins The third pot that I've started is for the peas. So I have peas, beans, and uh, liver going, and my chicken is already, you know, already deep fried somewhere. At some point in this cooking process, I do add the spices and I add different spices depending on the sauce, but I just have them close by and already know how the combos for each of the sauces work. I think one of the most important tips is to realize that the reason we needed to prepare is so that you get things ready quickly and they get ready fast. So when I just switch on my burner stoves and start cooking all the food gets ready really quickly and so it's so key that you're very prepared 
now i start my second batch of cooking and that has the chicken the fish and the pork but i'm not going to show you the fish and the pork because i don't want to offend you if it doesn't offend you just let me know in the comment section i would also say another quick tip in this process is getting containers that are good and sturdy that you can also refrigerate so after we've finished cooking and the food has cooled we'll put them in little containers and then label them but these are the same containers that can enter a microwave and cook real easy so that's another tip So now <laughs> now uh, the chicken is on fire, just left with a goat. YouTube <laughs> yeah so but now this one is cooling uh the rest of the what's ready is cooling some beans no no beans <laughs> fire some beans uh some liver yeah so mr mlone likes it when he comes and he's like what what's what's there for dinner then i go like uh-huh hmm? how do i go like when you ask what's there for dinner i go like Wow. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> <laughs> so whenever I ask is like what's for dinner, I'm just like whatever. What do you want? What do you want? There's beans, there's peas, there's liver, there's and he's like please. Anyway. So <laughs> 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 and he's on top of the And you want to eat green? This is a drumstick. <laughs> Let's first go and I cook that drumstick <laughs> in time now. Gas <laughs> is no cook one. I don't know if you can tell, I have started to do my skincare. So, taking off my makeup while some food was on fire. Some of the sauce was on fire. So, I just wanted to show you finished. So, this is the liver. Um, this is the goat, um, this is the peas, these are the beans, and this is the chicken. And now what we have left is the groundnuts which are simmering that's gonna take a while which are simmering and the beef mince that i have to get tomorrow because they didn't have uh, my market guys chops didn't have so they'll have and well that that will happen so we'll leave them to cool tonight and tomorrow put them in their containers that are labeled so there we have it now for all the um the meals all we'll have to do is cook up the foods and um like if it's rice or it's sweet potatoes or it's irish potatoes and remember they're already washed and clean so i'm not coming to start entering the sink to clean it's already done tomatoes are done whatever so that's already done but i would like to end this vlog um you guys have been asking for this and guess what I delivered <laughs> I delivered so here's to us to making motherhood easier and um, yeah finding ways hacks and ways to make motherhood easier kudos to us so until the next video